Oh crap. You didn't know you would need that car. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to Gaming Fan Mark, and today we are going to go through my friend Shuri's entire rare PS4 collection. This is a different kind of video than one that we've done before, and I've seen people do this. So far, he's only been, he's been doing this for a while now, uh, collecting rare PS4 games. But they're not really rare, they're rare, they're rare physical editions of one all of these. One of them are in a couple, a couple, of the, a couple of the trilogies were in my childhood memories and I got them from uh, physical media. I do have it on the digital, but instead of, you know, I was thinking of getting a physical too as well because they're my favorite of all time collections. And here I'm here to show them off to you now today. And I also have the rarest one in my hand today that will also be shown off soon after the other ones are shown off. So hope you guys right. enjoy the video and stay tuned for more. All right, so we're gonna start, um, we're just gonna lay them out on the floor here. And um, we're gonna start with like the small stuff, and then we're gonna talk about the big stuff later. This is just a small sample. Obviously more is gonna come, hopefully in the coming, in the coming months or maybe even a year. This is just a start. So with that said, let's get to it. First up, we have the Jack and Daxter series, uh, which originally started on the PS2, so. All right, here's the first one. My favorite one of all. Yeah, and this is obviously... One of my a... favorite ones to have in my set. Yeah, this was originally a PS2 classic. One of my favorites. Um, I definitely will like it. I finally finished on the PS4. Man, it was awesome! Yeah, I, I actually played a little bit of it. It's one of the best collectathons out there. As you can see, these are all the uh, limited run titles. And you can tell because there's a little icon on the side here. Plus, I got most of these from eBay too, so. Yeah. yeah. So, yeah, I like the way that they did this. Like, they really took care of. No, no damages, none of that stuff. Really no, I'm well. talking about the artwork. Yeah, I'm talking about the artwork, yeah. The artwork is really well done. Yeah. They have two artworks. That's actually the. Right. This is the original art, uh, artwork then, they got. And then let us show you the other side. Take, what is this? Manual. Oh, it looks more like a treasure map to me. It, it, they, <laughs> yeah. You know, the... Uh, they actually recreated the... I don't know if they, they, they recreated... They recreated but... the manual for the uh, thing they did with the PS2 manual they did. Yeah. So that's actually kind of cool wow. how they did that. So we... A lot of attention to detail here. And uh, we're going to show you the other... So this is the... This is the side cover from the... Uh, that, I think that's for the... Um, I mean, it's okay. Art. That's, I think that's what they first decided to do on the... Um, the design of the Night Dog, that one actually. Yeah. Instead, they, uh, that's just a mock art design they did. Then Maybe they this did... was like promotional artwork or something. Yeah, that was actually not. That art is not bad. It's okay. Surprise characters. I mean, that's the reason they actually put a black on, so you don't know who they are. Until well, they're actually, that kind of defeats the point because the characters are literally right there. Uh, so it kind of defeats the point. <laughs> yeah. So you know, yeah. they actually had a lot of weird designs for uh, Dexter and uh, Jack for Jack One. Actually, some of them were really weird, weird designs. One of the uh, one of the designers actually thought of a better, cool design for Jack, and this is the cool design we have right now. Though we used to have before. I think there are a couple of videos about it. Uh, the designers were making weird designs for Jack for the Precursor Legacy designs. Some of them were like really weird and not as okay. But the design right now we see in love right now is the uh, Jack and Dexter, the, the cool design they have. It really. Uh, yeah. With the good animations, good textures, and good everything. And plus, this was a very colorful game. Oh my god, it was beautiful. Color, the, color the color palette for this game is well lit, really good. 
uh, only only fighting you mechanics should have is punching, jumping, and eco powers. If, you, if Jack actually just jumps in a black eco, you're literally dead. And yeah. If Dexter jumps in it, he turns into a freaking rabbit. Weasel. I think weasel. It's a, he turns it's, into a weasel, but when yeah, it's a weasel. Jack jumps in, he just li- instantly dies less than one second. Wow. I need to like actually play these again because like I only they're really good. I don't think I ever Classics. finished the first one. Classics. Parts of the first game reminded me a lot of Spyro, where you're going through different portals and stuff at times. Yeah. Alright, so we're gonna sip it there. Alright, so Jack 2. One of the hardest games alive. But uh, one of the best ones too as well. It, it went dark tone very, very fast. Looked like a Grand Theft Auto trilogy anyway. A Grand Theft Auto style of a video game stuff. But really good. Good fighting. Uh, and went to a lot of uh, action right away. And they inter- uh, finally, you could only first where you'll see uh, Jack say, I'm gonna kill Praxis. That's the first word he'll Who's say. Praxis? Praxis is a villain in the game. Ah. Uh, um, it's really good. The game is really fun. Uh, I like the dark eco aspect. Dexter is still wise and funny witty ever in this game. And it, this is a fun, fun game. And it's actually the second best sequel I've played so far. But it's really, there's some hard missions in this game. Really hard missions. You'll die a lot. Trust me, you definitely will die a lot. The save points in this game are very terrible. Really? Uh, the save points are really, it comes out of random for no reason. And if you die once, you gotta start the mission all over again. Wow, it sucks. Mm-mm-mm-mm. Well, some, uh, some of the uh, levels of the game are somewhere easy depending on what uh, uh, what uh, what puppets you got and things like that. But still, you need to be highly skilled to survive some certain missions in the game. Uh, there are some uh, Dark Jack abilities. I recommend you guys to fully upgrade Jack fully entirely, but it'll take some time to upgrade them. A lot, they'll definitely will take a lot, a long time to upgrade them. Mm-hmm. And, but the, we're good to get, uh, the, the game itself, it's really, really fun. Yeah, once again, they recreated manual. And a good dang thing they did. Oh, they, I missed the manual back actually, in the Actually, wait man. a minute. I actually do have Jack 1 and 2 on PS2. Let me see. Hold on. Let me check and see if the manual is the same. The, back in the day, guys, the manuals for this is really well lit. And uh, I really miss the manuals now, back at, back, back at these days. And the manuals right now are one of the uh, uh, missing. See, these are mine. <laughs> Although I do have these digitally on PS4. Let me see if they, they have the same. Yeah, they do. <laughs> oh my god, it's Much same... bigger. Oh my god, it's the same. <laughs> but much bigger. Wow. Oh my yeah, god. I did not expect that at all. Yeah. They literally, well, almost, they almost reprogrammed. Yeah, that was this crazy. little thing but that's here. Fine. Whatever, it doesn't matter. This is so cool. Yeah. It's like the same artwork, basically. It's like literally but the same. I get, I get that to you, right? Uh, no, I bought this already. Okay. You're uh, missing yeah. three, I think. Yeah, I'm missing three, but I have all of them on digitally, though. Yeah. So, yeah, they recreated that beautifully. Uh, this, these beautiful recreations remind me of the Elvis Presley RCA album yeah, collection, they which they, they uh, really recreated did well. the. Limited they, run. They took recreated their time. the original album artwork as well as little inserts in there, but it's. Limited Run took their time and did it really well. I do like the Dark Jack aspect of the artwork. It's not bad. It does look kind of weird and kind of creepy. It looks evilish. I would definitely recommend without the weird dumbass letters over there. It makes it kind of weird and kind of dumb and stupid. Oh, did you ever notice this? This little description here? No. In desperate days, heroes oh. are chosen. Oh, well, not okay. for their courage, since fear hunts us all. Not for their skill, as the path to glory has oh, lies littered with a capable fallen. Not for their luck, for any fool can win or lose for, for a fickle of fortune. Heroes are chosen by fate and fate alone. And with this fragile choice, great hopes and dreams beside, our hero to shoulder our darkest burdens and lead us all to a bright new world. Having been injected with dark eco during experiments in prison, Jack's body has begun to change. Now, whenever Jack is exposed to small amounts of dark eco, his rage begins to build. If Jack reaches a certain rage threshold, he can choose to transform into Dark Jack and wreak havoc for a short time. This mode is terribly exhausting, and Jack always comes out of it damaged with only one hit point left, so he must learn to use it wisely. Unwanted power he acquired it is. He is not what he was. Vastly huge adventure awaits him. Truth is about to be unveiled. 
what he will find is a link which transcend the time yet never wear off. Usually sequels will be terrible, but this was not actually terrible at all. It was really fun. Really fun, but hard. But but still, it's one of the best games. I think this have. one's like darker than the first one, I think. I think it's darker. I mean, obviously. One of the best. Next up, Jack Free. Jack Free. You actually know more about his storyline in this one. Because I know in the first game, he doesn't say a word. And then by second the second one, one, he talks. And he gets much more cooler in Jack Three. And then the storyline gets more better. And um, he finally finds out his uh, actual his father was, actually. That was really... Um, I will not tell you guys have not played the game. What are you guys doing here without playing any of the Jack games? Go play and have fun with them. Seriously. Yeah, I need it. I need to play these. I if, need you guys to have, if you guys are living Because I only played the first one. Uh, if you guys have not played any of the Jack games, I don't know if you guys are living under a rock or not. Recommend you guys should play one, two, and three, and Jack X. Okay. First. Jack three is pretty good because you get the, the you get the uh, dark eco powers back again, and you also get the light Jack ability as well. Uh, light Jack ability is really good because it's enabling you to heal, and plus I think it gives you able to uh, also flight as well. Fight mechanics are really good. The game I heard that. Uh, Ooh, what do we have here? Uh, I can't remember to bring that one. <laughs> So oh, that is oh yeah, see, we forgot to mention that there are limited edition cards you get with these games. And my I left my to... uh, bring the other one for Jack and uh, Jack and Dexter. Yeah. Sorry about it, guys, it's not in the video. Anyway, right so now. this I don't know if you can see this very well, but uh, it's kind it's, it's hard to see. It's like holographic or you something. You guys can you can take it out if you want to. So yeah, that's the one that I don't have on PS2. I have them digitally on PS4, and I've only played the first one, but even then I don't. I didn't finish it. Actually, the cover for the PS2, I forgot to show you this, but the PS2 version is actually a little different, at least on the back. Uh, it's a little different on my end. Ah, uh, this is much better, we can see it a little better. So these are like, very limited edition, like, same thing with a Samurai Jack game, um, where you, you got like get, limited cards. You get card sets when you buy those games. Every game you buy, you get limited run cards. So I'm gonna show you the reversible cover while he puts that back in the wrapping uh, the manual it's nice how they uh, were able to recreate this I think it's a really good thing that they did that it shows you all the locations and miscellaneous stuff you need to know um, anyway. and then we have a reversible cover now this reminds me of uncharted in many ways like this back I like the other side better why that's much more cooler it just looks like they're in the middle of a sandstorm. I got a Mad Max Fury Road like or something. Because the wind's not blowing in her face. Anyway. <laughs> so if you are going to play these, um, just be aware yeah, of it. I will recommend you guys to play Jack 3. It's also one of the tones. best. And now the one that I have played, Jack X Combat Racing. It actually continues where I left off after Jack not 3. Not really. It does. Does it? Yes, it does. It continues where I left off after Jack 3. All back after the fat guy dies. I don't know who you're referring to. You'll probably find out if you play Jack 3. Um, I played this, it was just for regular racing mode. It's it's a racing game, so it it's look, fun. It'll look kind of weird at first, but, but just stay with it. it. It does get... It's a fun game. There's no reversible cover on this one. Just... It's a, it's okay, it's Dexter. only it's Dexter. Yeah, it's just Dexter. But Man so cool. <laughs> manual, disc... Moving on. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I mean, the controls are a little wonky, but other than but that. But it's still fun. Yeah. Okay, so the next one, we I think you've seen this guy before. Samurai Jack Battle Through Time. Now, um, we already did a video on this already. But this is a rare game also. If you want a much better video on this game, go to our uh, Samurai Jack unboxing video. Because we've already been here before. <laughs> so, go to, go to my channel. Go to the Samurai Jack Battle Through Time unboxing. That'll cover that because I don't want to go through this again. Um, but anyway, just to kind of show you it. These um, are all the four limited. Uh, what was it like one, two, five? Five. Limited, these are the five limited run games we I have, have so far. I have gotten so far. Yeah, really good. <laughs> yeah. So um, I, I only one limited game I actually physically bought is from limited run is Jack and uh, uh, Samurai Jack Battle Through Time. Other ones I got it from eBay actually. <laughs> and now the one and only guy. The Fiesta Resistance. The rarest game, I just want to make this clear, that we both own a copy of this game. Um, I got mine at GameStop, he got his on eBay, and his journey to find the game was actually much harder than mine. But it was very much more expensive than how much you got. It was, I paid $40 only because there was one copy left at GameStop. 
he paid one hundred and eighty dollars. Or I think it was ninety something. Eighty or ninety. No, you paid one hundred and eighty. Oh, right. okay. One hundred and eighty. Plus tax. Well, right. also shipping, too. Yeah. So it was more like 195 But Pierce to his Stance, the rarest game that we both own, Godzilla. This bad boy is probably one of the rarest games in history, and, it, and it's probably going to get more rare as the years go on. This game... I had to get it, even though it's a bad game. <laughs> I had to get well, it. Well, it's not... Bad, but it is... I... It's not... Bad, bad. Like, bad is like poor controls and bad story and I kind like of Kaiju like, um, It's still cool. Yeah, though. Kaiju's awesome. The reason why this is rare, I want to talk about this real quick, is because of two reasons. One, it sold poorly in the United States. That was one reason. And two... You got to remove from the place in the store. Well, that. And three, Bandai, the company that Lost made... Lost their license. Bandai lost the rights to Godzilla, so... Of course, obviously, when a company loses rights to some, when they lose for rights to an existing property, of course, the the price is going to be rare. But it would depend on if people want it or not. But sometimes you can find games that the studio like lost for rights to it, um, like Activision and Ghostbusters. You know, you can still find that game relatively inexpensive. But because this game sold so poorly, people want it. There's a demand for it, and now everybody's trying to get it. Um, I've seen this game. Sell for way more than $200, $300. I've seen this game go for as high as like $600. Or $200, depending where you find it. Yeah, it depends. My friend searched everywhere, and he finally found one. Um, took forever, but here it is. I actually and he had, to had <laughs> And here's the twist. He has played it. And... It was okay. I don't think it's as bad as people would say, but... It was okay, though. Was I, okay. I did a live stream of this. And I'm gonna put it on my channel pretty soon of my playthrough Godzilla. But anyway, here's the game. Um, it's in this protective case because of how rare it is. It's just uh, I I only will open if I want to play it eventually. But I'm actually keeping it in there for rare purposes. I don't know why people do this. People do this with steel books, and I just don't get why. It just doesn't. It's so cool. It's not interesting to me at all because of this game's rarity. I will allow it. All right. So the game, as you can see here. There we go. Alright, so the artwork is incredible. There was a dynamic theme to this, but it's gone now. Forever. Take and all the DLC stuff are also gone too, I think. No, actually there really wasn't any DLC that I can think of. There was. No, but everything was automatically locked through an in-game update, basically. Good. I think so, I could be wrong though. So, as you can see here, this copy's a little bit used, but that's okay. Because, so it just, <laughs> because it just shows how unique it is. And the disc. There's no reversible artwork, by the way. There's just the disc. I've seen some sellers just sell the disc. They sell the disc for like $100, but they don't give you the case. Well, for me, I had to buy a replacement case Who's because... I had to buy a replacement case that was like 15 bucks because the, because the GameStop, they gave me this like really crappy case. And I was like, no, I, I don't want to do that. One of the rarest games... Ever, it does work even though it has a couple scratches. So, okay. So, yeah, this game is super duper rare, and I think the online services are still up. I think so. So, that is the cream of a crop in his collection so far. So, yeah, this is everything, every single rare game that he has right now. Obviously, this is incomplete because there's way more rare games out there, some from uh, places like Limited Run. Other places, uh, it's just kind of random, it depends. Every console that has ever come out has had at least one rare game. Every single console, it doesn't matter what it is, going back to even the original Atari. There's rare games all the time, and it's hard to spot them, at least at a good price. A tip is, keep your eye out for them, and make sure that if you do want them, know why you're getting it. Don't buy a game because it's rare or everybody tells you to buy it because it's rare buy it for your own reasons like with Jack and Daxter my friend he liked the uh, the Jack and Daxter series so that's what's what my childhood man good memory yeah Samurai Jack because he's a fan of the TV show and Godzilla because well he likes Japanese monster movies sort of the point is is that like don't buy something 
yeah, you like kaiju stuff. Don't buy something because it's rare. Don't blow all your money on a game. Or... If you like the trilogy, if you like the set, if you like something. If you like. If you like something, if you really want to go nuts with the budget. If you're. You... Don't blow all your money on something because that's what everybody tells you to do. Go buy this, go buy that because it's rare. And if you are going to buy something that's rare, get it for the right price. You know, don't settle for something that's like. 200 bucks or something settle for something that's like a little less so maybe something that's like maybe 110 or even lower than that just shop wisely folks hopefully my friend will get some more rare stuff in the future but for now this is um it for the time being thank you all so much for watching and until next time stay safe as always have us enjoy your weekend and till next time guys have a good one and have a good night